In the wake of Cassidy Hutchinson's explosive testimony before the January 6th committee, the reaction from Trump's allies and right wing media was predictable. Today, we heard more rumors, a ton of hearsay, and wow, a lot of impeached uh, testimony. It was like she was auditioning for a seat of The View or the real staffers of Pennsylvania Avenue or so. It just seemed like an audition tape that wasn't going well for her. Look at her. She's the new it girl, right? She's going to get a job offer at CNN. She's going to be a contributor. She'll probably get a book deal. And she'll waltz around at every party in Washington, go to Cafe Milano, never have to pay for another drink. So I'm suspicious of her. The attacks on Hutchinson's credibility are largely based on disputes about one piece of her testimony, a story that she admitted to hearing secondhand. She admitted to hearing secondhand. About Trump trying to grab a steering wheel and lunging at a Secret Service agent on January 6th after they told him repeatedly he could not go to the Capitol. It's important to note that no one, though, is disputing that Trump tried to go to the Capitol that day. I think more will surface about just who Tony Arnado was and is it's still today. And look, I think that's important because like I come from a national security background. And Tony Arnato's actions or inactions also are, are very concerning because this is someone who is part of the Secret Service. And I look, I have tremendous respect for the people that serve in the service. I've gotten to know them. I certainly respected Mike Pence's details greatly. And so this is someone who is bringing actually shame to the Secret Service. And look, she, she didn't claim that she witnessed it, right? She wasn't there. She she didn't claim that she witnessed it, right? She wasn't there.